So, let's get to the pathophysiology of Bud Curie syndrome. Okay, first we start with thrombosis in the hepatic veins. Okay, there is a rule. Whenever there is obstruction in medicine, whatever is behind it will back up, will increase in pressure. So, we said that the venous blood is coming this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. So, when we block here, okay, pressure will build up here. And then the pressure will go like this, 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 and this. Okay, so we will have three outcomes. Number one here, inside the liver. Number two, portal vein territory. And number three, an association which is another disease okay so number one inside the liver what will happen let's zoom in so these si these um, central veins and the sinusoids all will increase in size due to increase in pressure they will back up into this portal venule and down to the portal vein but when we are inside the liver, this increase in pressure will put pressure here in the hexagonal liver and will lead to necrosis inside the center of the lobule called centrilobular necrosis. Okay, so in the center we have necrosis. What about the periphery? Here in the periphery, due to the increased pressure, will go from the center to the periphery, from the center to the periphery, and it will compress. This compression will lead to ischemia, and this ischemia will lead to peripheral fatty change. So, in the center we have necrosis, in the periphery we have fatty change. When the disease advances, we will end up in not make liver okay the liver will look like a nutmeg what about the entity number two the portal vein territory okay the portal vein as we know is the union of the superior mesenteric vein and the splenic vein so we will get splenomegaly the spleen will become huge due to the congestion the pressure is coming in this way and here we since the congestion occur blood will go outside extravasation into the interstitial space and will lead to edema edema in the peritoneal cavities also known as ascites so ascites and splenomegaly what else when the portal vein system shuts down, we have to get blood. How are we going to get blood? Going through the IVC, through something that we call shunts. Portosystemic shunts, which are found mainly, mainly in three locations. A, around the esophagus, leading to esophageal varices. B, around the umbilicus, leading to the funny shape of the caput midose. Uh, midose. And number C, around the anal canal, leading to hemorrhoids. And these are painful. Okay, so these are the problems due to portal vein territory issues. What about number three? Number three is hepaturenal syndrome. When the liver is damaged, the kidney cries. Why? Due to hepaturenal syndrome, a completely different topic. And there is a video. The link will be in the description. Or you can click here. So, let's recap. What are the complications? In the liver, we have centrilobular necrosis and peripheral fatty change eventually not make liver what about the portal vein we will have ascites 
we will have splenomegaly, we will have photosystemic anastomosis leading to esophageal paresis, caput midosa, hemorrhoids, and eventually hepatorenal syndrome. That's it.